What's up, boys and girls? Happy New Year. Happy 2014. Unfortunately, we have a replay today because when I had recorded this game, I had a problem with the recording, and I recorded it live, which is pretty awesome. It was a pretty sweet game. Tarasco wanted me to play a game with him, so I joined. I didn't want to play one of the new commanders because, uh, well, Jaleva was my new commander. Jaleva is so slow. I don't think Jaleva is very good for a player. I mean, she does I hit a lot of things because you have three other opponents. But I was like, you know, Goto was the second place to um, the poll I made with what's the next commander you want to see. It was Goto and Maelstrom Wander. And I played in Kiki-Jiki 1, so we played uh, we played Kiki-Jiki. But now we, I, it's like, you know, Goto's pretty sweet. And Goto's pretty pretty strong in 4-player, even 2 at a giant, because you can just hit your opponents and kill them really quickly. Um, so I was like, you know, let's play Goto, because I haven't played him very much. I've only had a couple of games with him. And uh, I didn't know what Tarasco was playing, and then these two people joined. So here we are, and um, I lost the recording. I think it, it actually it deleted it itself somehow, which is really strange. I was kind of upset about it, but we're going to soldier on. And uh, we have a hand that's pretty, pretty, pretty powerful. We're playing third, so we're not playing first. You can see I'm up here. This replay is a little strange. The replays have been strange since like a year ago. Uh, so let's look at our opponents. We got Chalalara. You've seen this card before. It's a five-color general. Trample six six. When this dies, destroy all non-land permanents. Whenever you're playing Chalalara, you gotta you gotta see Chalalara and be like, well, they're just gonna nuke everything that's not land, and you want to be very careful because you can't just like get ahead, kill your you know you can't just get ahead, pull your things on the battlefield, and then Chalalara wipes everything. And that's not that fun, and you kind of have to you have a big target on your head if you play Chalalara. And we have Sidri, the Galvanic Genius, which is a new new general. Um, it's like a version of Karn and Esper, so they can make non-creature artifacts become an artifact creature with power and toughness equal to the converted mana cost. And they can give an artifact creature that touch and life. Like, not as relevant. The blue the blue power is much more relevant. And it's a 2 tier human artificer. So that card's pretty sweet. It has suit art, actually. Therese Nielsen does a good job. And we've got Tarasco's playing Esper. Precon deck, actually, it turns out he's playing the Precon. Three white, blue, black. Four, five, giant soldier. Beginning of your upkeep, you gain two life. Um, so this card's in the command zone. You gain two life at the beginning of your upkeep. No matter what. If it's command zone or if it's on the battlefield. And whenever you gain life, you may pay one. If you do draw a card, each opponent loses one life. And um, it says at the bottom, you gain... even if it's, So you gain two life every turn, no matter what, unless he gets tucked. And we're playing Goto, and I love Goto. Goto's a sweet card, doesn't get played a lot. Um, Goto's a pretty powerful deck, so it's mono red, so you have a little bit of restriction, but basically, you know, as the battlefield, search your library for an equipment, put it on the battlefield if you do, so for the library. And he gets two attack steps, and also your samurai get two attack steps. There's not a lot of samurai. I guess you could make a more samurai version of Goto, but I think my version's pretty good. So. When he attacks the first time, tap it and all samurai you control after this phase and additional combat phase. So there's even a thing we could do with Goto where you just attack with Goto, you clear the path with a sword or a jite, and then your other creatures can attack, even if they're not samurai, because you didn't attack with them the first step. Alright, so we have Soul Ring, we have Solemn, we've got Kranko. We've got a pretty sweet hand, actually, so I'm pretty happy. I'm sorry for the replay, guys. It's the first of New Year's. Um... I was really hoping to bring you guys a nice uh, recorded game, but it just got deleted. But I wanted to bring it anyway because he's saying he's winning, which is pretty funny because <laughs> he's got the most life. He's got 44 life. And a Laurel is one that you have to worry about, especially with a, a tuned to Laurel deck and get out of hand pretty quickly. Um, there are a lot of cards that say you win in life when you have 50. When you have 50 or 40 or more life, you win the game. Um, we're playing Solemn. We want to ramp. I was thinking when I said in recording. I kind of want to get the Gauntlet of Power probably online, or maybe just straight to Goto. And it's probably going to hit straight to Goto, depending on what my opponents did, because I want to just start killing people. I want to especially start killing Child of Alara, so we're probably going to hit straight to Goto. So he's playing a Journeyer's Kite, and he's just getting land. <clears throat> he's turning a value off his Journeyer's Kite. He exiled uh, the two fetch lands out of Fire Lord. He might have been worried if you know he had a bunch of, um, you know, if he made a Crucible World or something like that. And plus, it was the only thing on a great. It was the only great part with the card in it, so it makes a lot of sense. Whereas, he drew Cathedral War, and Cathedral War was pretty awesome with uh, Goto. 
He gets exalted, so every time he attacks, he gets plus one, plus one, and you're usually attacking with Goto by himself for the most part. So I was thinking for a while here what it was the best play. But um, I just went straight to a Goto, I'm pretty sure here. Sword of Fire and Ice. I decided on Sword of Fire and Ice. I didn't show my deck, unfortunately. Sword of Fire and Ice because it has the most advantage. You're getting a card every turn. It's kind of better than making your opponent discard a card. And you can nuke a creature if that's a two-powered creature. And he is a two-powered creature. And people do play a lot of dorks, so... And I decided to attack Fire Lord. <laughs> what? Archon? So he's mad because I'm not attacking Alora who's at 47, but to be honest, I kind of could tell, he didn't tell me flat out, but I can tell he's playing the pre-con. I know I did like a little bit of a series with the pre-con of uh, Jaleva, and I know he likes to do that as well. Um, we'll see what he does now. But Trouble Alora is a bigger threat. They usually are. It's a five color deck that can play anything, literally, and he can wrap the board, so I just don't want to deal with that. I just only I don't want to play a bunch of my like swords and my creatures and soul rings I'm just gonna get wrath. So he's playing Zorius Herald just in the pre con. Guy just passed because I'm gonna use his journeyers kite probably. It's an unblockable creature and when it enters the battlefield you gain four life. If it blue is cast if once blue is cast you sacrifice it because you can't play it in mono white. I mean, you just can't flat out play it in mono white and commander because it's <laughs> because it has a blue in its uh, text. Um, so he used Tressa's joke in here. He says, Rightly right, fears me, or else he figured out I'm playing the pre con, which I kind of figured out once all the lands were the same set plus this talisman, and that was. This kind of tipped it off, obviously. But everything was. Um, I mean, I'm sure he didn't know how to spell bomb. He didn't need to play the new commander set. Pre con's still good. So he's trying to, like, kind of divert attention from his deck. I'm sure his deck is much better than the pre con. Um, you just can't trust Chavalar ever. <laughs> I just joke around saying Goto's gonna bash. The name of this deck is actually Goto gonna bash. That's what I do, I just bash. Just, just attack. So I'm thinking what to do here. Could Warstorm Surge, could Krenko, do blah blah blah. But I'm thinking... So I have enough to... Gauntlet. This will now tap for two. And then I can play Cathedral of War and still equip the sword. So I can do all those things in one turn. Gauntlet here, equip a sword, play Cathedral of War, and <laughs> it's blue. Yeah, it's never happening. I'm the only deck not, I actually said that, I was the only deck not playing blue. So, you know, we're a little bit, kill that trigger maid, get out of the way. Bash, the, he's really, like, trying diplomacy here. It's not working for me, I, I know better. Played enough commander. Played a lot of Commander on Magic Online that I know better. Hits Soul Ring. He Demonic Tutors. There you go. Black, blue, black, red. <laughs> Every color deck blows whatever it wants. So Demonic Tutor hits. I was thinking like a Sword Supply of Shares or Condemn. And then he asked me where Cathedral came from. I guess he just didn't notice me playing it because it just hit the battlefield like instantly. Um, there it is. He plays Cessation. So it's an enchantment. Enchanted creature can attack when it goes into the battlefield, returns the station to its own hand. So clearly he wants to wrath, and clearly he doesn't care if creatures block. So he's got bigger plans. It's better. I mean, it's better than a wrath, and that you can get it back. So we can wrath, get it back, do all those fun things. So we're obviously doing the right thing by attacking this guy. That's what I've pretty much told myself. <clears throat> So he tutors as well. It's all this tutoring going on. I mean, I guess my commander is a tutor in one way or another. So, see what Tarasco does. He plays Phyrexian Reclamation. So, pay two life, return type creature. It's a pretty sweet card. Um, he doesn't have a lot of creatures in the graveyard, but oh, we drew Lightning Bolt. Not ideal, but Lightning Bolt's a fine card. <clears throat> so, he said, You don't see cessation too often. And he says, Did I have a choice? And this guy is being really defensive, you'll see. Okay, so what do we do at this point? Um, I was thinking that we could move the sword over and lightning bolt our Goto, but I forgot that Gauntlet of Power gives plus one, plus one, so Goto is now a 4 4. 
Um, we could have actually just killed Fire Lord if we could Lightning Bolt Goto, get Lightning Greaves, and attach it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we could have done that. But Goto was a 4 4, so we could not do that. Which <laughs> kind of sad. <clears throat> Hoping we would rip a <clears throat> Sword of Light and Shadow, which is in our deck. So instead, we just exalted, attack Fire Lord here. Do 5 plus him with Sword. Drew a land. Nothing exciting. So now we're going to accept Warstorm Surge because we just want to kill Fire Lord as soon as possible. I'm pretty much afraid of being Wrathed or getting blown out somehow. <clears throat> Clone Shell. And we get an Imperial Recruiter. So that's what we put underneath. And there's Swift with Boots. <clears throat> so he's at 14. So let's see what he does now. So this guy has Herb Organ Play, which is super annoying. And Tooth and Nail. So I'm glad we attacked him. <laughs> All this time, because let's see what he does. He just puts creatures, so he basically uses a show and tell for himself, times two. Let's see, he puts out, what does he do? Blazing Archon, Avacyn, into the battlefield, a nine drop, eight drop, indestructible, all my things, and Blazing Archon. So indestructible is pretty good with his commander, and now I can't attack him. Um, now he plays Maze of Ip, which is uh, also going to be kind of annoying, because now he can maze my guys, so I can sword. I can still sword to this guy and do him too, but if he has a maze, he can choose to be annoying and buddy up. But we'll see. Um, so, Tarathos is not doing much. One, two, three, four, five. So he can't, come out, he can't cast his commander. He's a little bit mana light here. Oh, this is funny. So he played the Tooth and Nail, and I said, Man, I wonder why I tried to kill you first. <laughs> After he Tooth and Nail, Avacyn and Blazing Archon. And he says, Because you're a dick. Uh, oh, no, no, you missed this. Oh, I attacked him with Solemn, and he said, And blocked. And I said, Question mark. Oh, my God, look at this. This guy was all over the place today. He's worried about the guy playing the board wipe commander, which Trasco says, which is correct, because I'm afraid of getting all my permanents destroyed. And then it says, you and Trasco are sex partners or something. And he's got these weird symbols afterwards. I don't know if he's typing on a weird keyboard or something. <laughs> and I just said classy. I wasn't going to get delve into his insulting, so I was like, whatever. I mean, I was recording live, so I didn't want to troll him too badly. And then, uh... And I said, man, why don't I try to kill you first? Because he's casting Tooth and Nail, like, straight up. I'm like, that's why I was attacking with Solemn. And then he calls me a dick. So, obviously I'm the dick, because I try to kill the opponent who has the most power out, most powerful deck for the most part. And I just didn't really say anything to that. <laughs> and he's practically trying to change the subject. <laughs> so I'm going to ram his Baboons and Maze of it. I obviously can't kill any of his lands, because they're all indestructible. Maybe that's going to stop me from, uh, I actually just drew that, which is pretty nice. It's going to stop us from doing what we want to do, so we're going to kill it. So we can't even attack him. Attacking Tarasco isn't going to do a whole lot. We don't want to hit him. Tarasco's deck isn't seeming super powerful. And he's mana screwed. We want to hit this guy with a sword no matter what. So we attack him with two creatures, sword on um, fire lords, he's at nine. So now we can do some damage to him actually, which is pretty nice. We can uh, crank on him, which is going to do four, he's at nine, so now he's at five. And we can play our mind's eye, draw a card. So there we go. So we're going to draw a card in his upkeep, or his draw step rather. Draw a card, Drew a workshop, see what he does. I mean, Kratos is not out of place. I mean, just he just bashes. I mean, maybe he could be a different card, maybe a different equipment, but you don't really get a lot of a chance to play, like, all your equipments out. Usually you just need the good ones, not all of them. He got Sylvan Primordial. Um, so, I pretty much know he's going to kill my Warstorm Surge. I don't know about everyone else. So he kills Reclamation, which seems like the weakest card. He probably should kill his island, but maybe he just don't want to be that much of a douchebag. And he kills Journeyers, okay. So when I saw his life total loss, and I was like, whoa, he has Force of Will in his pre-con deck? But now he's just getting a creature back. <laughs> so he has Stomping Ground, Temple Garden, and Savannah. You know, all the fun cards. All the forests that he can, pretty much. Because he already has Breeding Pool and Overgrown Tomb. 
So now he's attacking me for 13 in one turn. <clears throat> he's getting life. He doesn't draw a card. I can't draw a card because I'm tapped out. And he plays Mind's Eye and he has Cabal Coffers. Just drops Cabal Coffers with Urborg in play. All the fun things happening. <laughs> so he draws a card here with his Mind's Eye. Mine, Mind's Eye is tapped out, so I cannot. See what Trasco does. Did you get anything good? Oh, so I messaged Trasco. I was like, listen, can you do at least two damage to my opponent? Because I had Lightning Bolt in hand. I also had Sword, which can do two damage to him. And he was like, well, I want to wait, but I was like, no, please. I just. <laughs> the onslaught of Child of Alar was enough. So he left the mana floating on Death Grass. He could have done three. I wanted to burn a Lightning Bolt, but. Since he only did two, I have to burn a lightning bolt. So I just burn a lightning bolt like pretty much right away. I just don't I don't even mess around. I lightning bolt fire lord. Yeah, he, he left the mana. He could have done it for three. So I just bolt him. And he's dead. So there goes Child Valara. Guy was super super not nice because I was trying to kill him. Yeah, good for him. I mean, <laughs> you play Chava Lar, you play, I play a lot of decks to get targeted out first. I mean, I play the aggressive deck, so I'm probably the bigger target on the battlefield versus everyone else, but that's what I accepted. And I killed this Urborg because Urborg not only is it annoying to play against because it makes all your lands tap for black, but it's also just negating his Cabal Coffers, which I don't want to go off. So, playing the Grim Monolith because we can. Now attack. Also, I forgot since I forgot the uh, arrest, the white arrest, whatever it was called, uh, the silence or something. Forgot to move my sword over. Could have killed people faster, but I didn't. So we're just attacking Chainmaster. I'm not gonna like, worry about mana screwed here. And he also didn't draw a card on my turn, which is funny because he wouldn't want me to draw in response. Because if I draw, he can draw. He can, you know, I can just keep drawing. I had most mana. He doesn't draw. Attacking and I forgot to untap. I forgot to tap Cranko and then use make a goblin, and then I could have. He would have untapped with uh, the trigger, but didn't do that. Just no, he wouldn't have untapped. Never mind. He wouldn't have untapped. He's not a samurai, so that's dumb. Cessation. That's the card. And attacking Chainmaster, moving the sword back over to Godo. We've messed up. So we're going to draw a card in his turn. We drew Chaos Warp, so we're pretty safe now. Plays in the Refuge. Plays Commander finally, which is kind of weird, because now he wants to make his Mind's Eyes and Vencer's Journal. Or probably just one of the two to block. Um, he waited a while to play it. Um, so we're going to draw off Tarasco's trigger. And we're just going to Chaos Warp that with the extra mana. Because we have... We have one extra mana here, so we're just going to... And then someone was talking in chat, some viewer. That's why um, he's talking. Chaos Warped. He hit Thirst for Knowledge, so he just blanked. He's got one, two, three, four, five mana. No slums. Cabal Coffers is effectively dead. We got Reckless Spiked. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good with the, like, the life he has. Not the best against Goto, because Goto just get Goto back. But none of my other creatures are good targets anyway. So he's talking to somebody in chat that you can't see. It gets the replay, unfortunately. I'm sorry. So he's drawing. I'm going to draw again. Let's see if he draws again. He doesn't, because he can't. Because he's Cabal Coffers, which doesn't tap for mana. So now we're just going to try to kill our opponents. <laughs> we're going to go, and we're going to get... Swift Foot Boots in case he has a Swords of Plush. I don't know what's in that deck specifically. He called it. Well, yeah. We're just bashing. We're putting all all of it on the battlefield. Attacking Chainmaster. He discarded a Dark Cell Citadel. He's dead. <clears throat> we had nothing to use our mana on. I mean, until after combat. And we untap our thing, and we're happy. Join more cards. I guess he just didn't have the mana. I mean, the pre-cons are kind of awkward, and they just don't really have good fixing, and a lot of the mana costs are kind of... They're tough. You're playing a three-color deck with a lot of basics, and kind of come to play tap non-basics, and he just didn't get their title force. 
Hell Force. And yeah. So he didn't do much. Traska kind of just sat there. And he helped me kill uh, Child of Alara, which is nice of him. But there you have it. That was the game. I'm sorry it's recording, but pretty much what you saw is what happened. Uh, Fire Lord was not not a fan. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Happy New Year. And post your New Year's resolution in the comments.